in previous chapters that we've been reading here and studying in the book of Ephesians on the broadcast, the Apostle Paul gave us a list of those who labor and minister in the church. And he mentioned teachers and pastors and evangelists. And so when we came to chapter 5, and I read the statement that he says to the church when he says, Awake thou that sleepeth. And I thought, wow, now that's the work of the evangelist. Because the evangelist, when he comes into the church, that's his job. That's his job to wake up the church, a church that's gone into a, a slumber. Because we get careless a lot of times. And we find ourselves occupied in our mind and our heart with other things. And uh, just not putting the emphasis on our spiritual life and our spiritual walk. So the evangelist comes in, and uh, my heart's desire would always be that if there's going to be an evangelist coming to my church and to my congregation, I'm going to be expecting him to spend a lot of time fasting and praying and seeking the mind of God for what he is to share with my congregation that the Holy Spirit would do the work of rising us up and raising us up until we're, we're coming out of our slumber until we're, we're finding ourselves going back to our first love. And that would be when we first have that great spiritual awakening in our hearts and we come to that place where we accept the reality of spiritual things and spiritual activity of God and that true born again experience. And so I said, Lord, I pray for the evangelist. Those who truly have the ministry and the calling to go into the world, go into our churches, and preach the word of God in such a way that hearts would just be become excited once again about their calling in the church and the ministry that God has Give them to do, which brings me to another verse in this same chapter, uh, verse 16. It talks about redeeming the time and how important it is to realize that there's a limited number of minutes that we have to win the lost and to bring those who are outside of faith into faith, as the scripture used the terminology, snatch them out of the fire. And there's only so much time left. And so we need to be aware of that. And so when he says redeeming the time, it's saying, hey, what am I doing here? And what is my focus? And have I lost my initial energy of, of just a, just could not do enough to serve my Lord? Have we lost that? Because redeeming the time simply means, hey, I'm aware that time is short. The harvest is great, as the Word of God says. Labors are few. Lord, don't allow me to waste one single minute. Because that could be the eternal damnation of a soul. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.